<coughs> so bear by. So I'm gonna list the name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name off a lot of people that I've seen in this sector while these riots was going on, and they act like it never happened, or they act like it wasn't going to happen, or their theories. To me, they're not talking about the riots and not talking about how they how how much failures they are shows me that everything they spelling out was just a scam so dj kuda dj kuda and, and uh trey got into it about you know the perception of black people and how you could do the right thing and dj kuda was trying his best to negate the fact that if you do move into a neighborhood you do you do the right thing white people gonna be shooting you down and kill you first of all i did the right thing my whole well nearly my whole life i stopped doing the wrong thing in my teenage years which was small shit. but the fact is i led my i led my life where i didn't get in trouble with the law now in my late 20s a group of women came together and lied on me and said I was a mass shooter. Then the FBI came, investigated me, took my shit. So it was black people who put the FBI on me. It wasn't myself. I never got in trouble. See, the thing is, this dude who's talking, who, who said game about 100 or 200 times in a stream is, is, is afraid that his logic is going to be tested or his logic is actually already been proven. White? There's a lot of guys out here like SYSBM or everybody else out here who don't do bad shit and they don't have cop attention. They might got dickhead cops stopping them, but they're not having cops shoot them in the middle of the street. See? So when he said some shit like that, I said, wow, this, this, this dude is on that over shit. This is why he liked game so much. This is why he listened to the game shit. And let me ask everybody about who talk about game. The game stop all this bullshit from happening i'm looking at these i'm looking at these shops i'm looking at these old people i'm looking at a long list of line at a grocery store that now they need to restock their store because there's too many people coming in their store because half of the stores have been fucked up and they gotta go people gotta go to this one store that i'm going i'm about to go to and stand in this fucking line and get some fucking food because of these niggas losing did fucking game did fucking game did fucking game actually made black men smarter or did they make them fucking dumb second judge dread his stupid ass I, and his feminine stupid ass and I, that's why i don't like him on panels talked about how looting and and, and and looting and rioting is necessary so i forgot who asked him on the panel said hey if they fuck up your shit, burn your house down, is you okay? He sat back and said on his breath, yeah, I'm okay with that. No, you're not. Because it's the same dude who gets on panels, complain about black women, and then go offline and stick his dick back in black women. Then he comes on another panels, have a black woman in the background talking like she's the one, the one, one of the women that's so good, and then he end up breaking up with her and doing some other shit. He's a flip-flopper. I seen him on the side of B1. I seen him on the side going against Suge when, when Suge and B1 was going to, going head to head, just like Nordine. Okay, now your general. The general's on that pro brack shit, telling us that we gotta heal the broken people in society. But then this stupid ass, old ass guy, looking like a fucking Mr. Milk Dog Head ass nigga, walked around. And go to a cool supreme and talk about you need to get with old women and get learn our game and all that other shit. This nigga's a flip flopper too. He don't know where the fuck he's at. Remember, this is the same dude who tried to use Homeland Security against one YouTuber because he was on the side of B1. And then after he had a felon out with B1, he started going on panels that nobody wanted him on. Let's let's go down to ARC. ARC, if your minions hear this fucking video. Did Mo One help this bullshit to happen? The, the, the looting and shit? Because, uh, remember, you said that if men don't get women, and they're going to turn into an Elliot Rogers or whatever, right? Okay. What happened to all the Elliot Rogers in this chaos? All I saw was a bunch of black niggas looting, getting cell phones, getting fucking uh, uh, clothes and shit, 
and there was no more one. If these niggas was good with women, they will be they will be more calm, right? So where was the Elliot Rogers out here doing mass, whatever you want to call it, right? Where were they at? Because all I saw was niggas that you say they got the skills in the game to get women, right? I seen some white guys out there too and some Asian guys out there too joining the crowd. So what happened? Your mole one shit didn't work. You in the comfort of your house right now, right? <coughs> oh man, fucking hot out here, man. Um, you in the comfort of your home, right? With your fiance, pregnant fiance. You ain't even in the thick of the shit. But you wanna keep talking about men and incels and shit like that, but is incels going into places looting? Was incels actually did this much violence and damage to the, to, to the whole environment? No, they didn't. So your shit was wrong. See Boogie, Rat Boogie. That dude is still going on to this fucking day after the whole Game Changer situation and started making videos about weirdos and stuff and he was pointing to Game Changer. This dude would not talk about anything else but women, but we have this shit going on in the black community. But then... This nigga said there's good black women out here. So if it was good black women out here, why the fuck is the good black women kids out here looting? And why is the so-called men who in their 30s and 40s looting the shit with the teenagers? These are the niggas who don't got dime games. These are the niggas who these women pick. But you said they were good black women. Why have not more good black women made videos about how fucked up this is? Why is it all the men are making videos about it out here? Because they're using it for their benefit. That dime game shit, you a fraud too. Donovan Sharp. I heard about him. And somebody told me to make a video about him, uh, I think, two months ago because of the shit that he was doing. Let's talk about Donovan Sharp. The reason why Donovan Sharp got an average chick like Devin is because he know that he can control Devin with his whole persona of getting women. He can show this Devin chick his so-called persona that he can leave her anytime he want but the only good thing about donovan sharp is he can get women and dog women out who's married or have a boyfriend they look the women who are married and have a boyfriend look better than the woman he has right now let me tell you why the women he doesn't have that much skill with so-called women he can show you pictures and shit like that but he's been out of the dating game for a long period of time this dude said he had some type of uh uh, what, what disease or some shit or, 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 or condition that he gets mad super fast for everybody I hope you don't I hope you you spend the money that you do got left from your stimulus check or your unemployment I hope you spend it wisely and don't spend it on no fucking pheromone soap and all this other bullshit that he spoke he, he putting you he not even speaking about black issues right now and I, 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 get, I get it he don't like the black side but at the same time He's still not giving you the real, real stuff. Let's go down another list. Let's go down more. Let's see. Obsidian. Obsidian True Colors come out when Zero confronted him on one of his, uh, on, on Zero's whole show about Zero versus Feminism. And Obsidian is a short piece of shit who pretty much are not, it's not even in, not even in the, in the category in Philadelphia. Seriously. This nigga is a reclusive nigga in the house. You see me out here. You saw me coming out here, walking out here. See me in the middle of the thick of them nigga, this niggas looting. This nigga would never go out talking about he know Quang Fan Do and he know all this and he got guns and shit. He not gonna come out here and do the same thing we did. And he never cared about black people in the first place. He only cared about making money. This nigga tried to be the black Oprah and he keep failing. See, Obsidian would never be nothing but a leech in this space. He jumps from people to people. He jumped from, he, he had people on his panel, they turned against him. Uh, he turned against MGTOW, he turned against Sean James, he turned against Nagol, he turned against uh, Black Avenger, he turned against a lot of people, and Bernard Roddy might be next, I don't care, but Bernard Roddy doing that. And he, he threw everyone under the bus for B1, and B1 end up bought the Dox's ass. Was about to dox his ass, right? Now, this dude is jumping from panel to panel. I'm sorry for everybody who listened to him. And 
you know, the fact is you probably need an obsidian in your life because you with black women. And he he made a he made he exposed himself from having women having men who ain't man enough to tell the women in their life what how they really feel because in in in, in, in uh in this time you got a uh, uh, obsidian is a avatar. Damn, my voice keep cracking because it's fucking fucking dry ass air. Damn, I gotta get back in the house. <laughs> um. Of uh. uh Obsidian is the voice of the everyday avatar, right? He's the avatar of black men who always wanted to tell women off. And they use him to uh, explain hit points and they hate or they hate or discomfort for black women. This is why you had Judge. This is why you had the general on there. This is why you have all the people who all turned out to be simps when they got with a black woman. Or they have a black woman in the background telling them, don't shoot me and do all this other stuff. I remember that, general. When your chick was in the background telling you off. Um, judge had a woman in the background telling them off. There's too many people in the space that niggas know to call about. Third World Colombians, that sip ass dude, who now, after he talked down to Smooth about his attempt suicide and him getting mad at people talking about that, he should have never been let on in the first place. Niggas not, niggas not serious. Now he wanna come in doing the same thing and y'all let him. That's not my problem. Long as he don't come near me, I'm good. I'm glad I got my own platform. I got my own videos. I don't care if they do five views. I'm still better than that shit. I ain't gonna have a dude like him on there. There was one chick in my comic section who tried to sit, sit back, call me weirdos, call me all types of names, and then try to re, try to re, uh, try to act like we was cool. And I didn't believe her. I didn't reply to her. I let it go. I was done. Jessica X. I don't need nothing with her. If she tags me again, I'll make another video. But other than that, no. I ain't gonna say nothing about her. Y'all show y'all problem. Y'all created her, y'all gonna deal with her. Um, that's a lot of people in this space that pisses me off. But the fact is that I just like, man, all these dating coaches, all this game, all this shit talking about incels being dangerous and how we give up or all this, all this other stuff. I was in D. Darrell's um, comment section, and I told him, SYSBM is not going out here looting. SYSBM is not out here doing none of this other shit. The outcast black men, black men that you said are losers and weirdos and all this, we're not out here looting and doing all this other shit. It's the men that y'all sit back and want us to save. It's the men that y'all continue to think that should be saved. How many times do a man got to make mistakes before you get done with them? I'm not trying to give somebody all, all these fucking chances and let them keep fucking me up or stealing from me and then I'm gonna keep giving them a chance. No. It's done. All the motherfuckers that go to jail because it's, it's been 10,000 arrests. 10,000 arrests. And um, I hope they all get persecuted and go to jail forever. Or at least 20, 30 years. Now. Uh, let me speak on let me speak on something else because I'm going to think about it because that's probably all I needed to say. Like the game, game didn't do shit for nobody. If the game worked, oh yeah, my fault, my fault, super slide. Hey man, I thought you said that a, a woman at home makes you uh, mend, your, uh, mend your, uh, your rage. Well, all these niggas has wives and they was looting for them. And all these niggas has wives, but their wives was going in there still a weave. I was in the middle of the, I was in the thick of this shit. I seen it, I see fat, overweight women with their husbands in the car, stealing weave. The, the husband was at the wheel and, and, and wife was in there stealing weave. And these people was like, at like 30 or 40. So, what, what's again? What's that again? Married niggas and all this other stuff? The looting gave an L to all the dating coaches, all the L, Solo TV 84 included. This nigga act like it was a party. Uh, going at ground zero instead of showing the carnage and shit. This nigga act like he's at a club with a chick. Um, there's too many people out here, man, that, that, that y'all need to watch out for because shit went down. Niggas don't got solutions. And everybody out here talking about that this needs to happen. But the fact is, y'all nigga not going to build anything new to get, this, to get the communities that's been burned down anything. And remember, you got to do it fast because a lot of old people right now need their meds and their prescriptions 
or in the systems of the stores that was looted and destroyed. A lot of people need food. Where the fuck is y'all with y'all food drives? The medicine drives. Where the fuck is y'all at, man? Y'all online acting like this looting shit did help. And it didn't help it destroy, the, it destroy communities. Now, you're going to have a very hostile group of people in the black community who are going to be looking at these churches, looking at these black leaders, and asking them, where the fuck was you at when we needed you? None of you are out there doing what you need to do. None of you. You're a fucking joke, man. And all the niggas who talk about looting and shit and they need to do that, then guess what, man? You're an enemy of everybody. Because the fact is, it, even if we built a black owned a black owned town and all the black this and the black that, what you think that what you think these niggas gonna do? You think these niggas not gonna not gonna come against you and break your shit up and destroy your your town if it's black owned? You niggas are you niggas are out your mind. They destroy black owned biz businesses, and I seen that shit. And people spray painted black owned, and the damn fucking cardboard boxes on the floor black owned. They attacked black owned businesses. They had a dude crying on TV and it came back trying to get it safe. Look, man, y'all can do what y'all want. But me, I'm about exposing motherfuckers and their bullshit on here. So, that's about it, man. The outcast black men, we won. We won this fucking argument. We won this war. SYSBM, we won this war. We can use this, we can use this riot shit for the rest of the times. This is for the history books. Cause I could be like, yo, yeah man, game and the community. I'm like, okay, where was you at when the, uh, when the looting was going on? After the looting, where, where was you at giving the people the food drives? George Makem is not out here. I still don't see a George Makem. I went, I, I, had, my, I had my voice around um, Philadelphia. I don't, he, I don't hear no, no, no George Makem doing a food drive right now. Right now. I don't hear no uh, anybody in the black community out here doing food drives and medicine drives so they can get the people their medicines and, and, and replace all the stuff. I didn't see any black celebrities um, loading a whole truck of goods and having it with protection and giving it back to the community of the people that want to shop there. To make, to make their own makeshift stores and say this is what a black community is supposed to be. You letting things rebuild again? And then go back to normal after you did this shit? Nah, it's not gonna work out. So, that's about it, man.